Hey everybody, it's Jody Kieran, and welcome to a game called Layers of Fear. Now, if you have a, had a history of epilepsy or seizures, uh, please contact your doctor before watching this gameplay. There was, or, or actually playing this game, there was a warning uh, before playing this, so it's not recommended that you do that if you have a history of that. And for some reason, I'm running at 900 and something. I am running like way over 700 frames, no, well... Way over 600 frames a second right now for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because I turned V-Sync off. I don't like V-Sync if, if that's what's been uh, locking my frame rate out of certain things. But I turned V-Sync off and um, we are... Yeah, I'll just do a new game. Because it broke when I tried to record it before and I didn't. we didn't get to see the cutscene. So this, this... It might have taken a while to load, but it didn't... Okay, so that's great. Hey, is the frame rate isn't plummeting this time. I know how you must feel. Never mind. <laughs> Lost, alone, hopeless. You probably deserve it. Hey. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. So the frame rate is kind of crap. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Ah, uh, frame rate, you're killing me here. Finish it. Is that game really this demanding? I was running at like over 600 frames a second earlier. All right, skip this bit. It's just, it's just a cool. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. All right. So for some reason, we are running at a not so great frame rate. Yeah. This. So this is a psychological horror game again. The uh, ellipsy warning thing. Why are we running at such a terrible frame rate? My God. I have. Anti-alias thing off, because that's annoying. I didn't even know if I need this on. Do I need this on? I'm trying to fix, like, the recording frame rate. Yeah, mirror reflections. I have to restart the game, of course. That's what broke it for me last time. SSAO. Low. Apply. Don't know what's going to fix this. Chromatic aberration. You know what? I'm just going to turn this off, too. I didn't even know what it does. And then this is my gamma here, so I'm supposed to be able to barely see it. I don't know what's breaking it so much. Okay, so it's not supposed to be this. It's supposed to be that, because that doesn't work. Uh, that is my screen resolution. It is definitely not this. Unless it's counting two monitors, but it's not 1080. The monitors are different sizes. Okay, so I'm going to try and fix this. I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright, so the frame rate is pretty crap. We're just going to have to deal with that. I don't know why it is doing what it's doing. But, again, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Oh, I actually have to do this? Oh, it's not like Outlast at all. I don't even have legs. Good God. So, um, don't know really what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to change some of the settings. Controls. Mouse sensitivity. Apply. Continue. Alright. That's what Can I actually use a controller for this? I can use my controller. Oh, that's awesome. How do I actually look around? How do I look around? It's not working. I can move forward and back. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Well, that's convenient. How do I look up? Okay. I need to figure out the controls. Hold on. Holy crap. Alright, so... It thinks I'm using a freaking stupid Xbox controller mouse, so I'm just going to play like this. Unfortunately, it won't allow me to, um, I guess, record at a high frame rate, so sorry about that. Um, this is really weird. I'm not used to a game controlling like this. So again, the epilepsy warning thing. Uh, please be careful. Can I crouch down? Alt. Oh god, I clicked out of the game. Okay, well that's bad. Let me just open that. This game is so hard to control. Hey, a picture. I'm gonna scare them. I'm gonna get freaked out and get some sort of seizure. I really don't want that to happen, though. I guess nobody does. Can I just, like, search for stuff? Can I loot whoever's house this is? This is not... This is not bright enough. Apply. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, I'm not restarting the freaking game. What does this say? Sir, I didn't touch the wor workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, uh, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention uh, to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. This controls really weirdly. I don't like this. 
Oh crap, so I have to find the keys. Okay, so I guess they're flashing lights. I mean, I'm seeing the game at like, what, 60 something frames a second? And obviously I can't like, t um, turn V-Sync on. Yeah. Unless I actually freaking restart the game, which is kind of annoying. Oh, you guys are now seeing this at 60 frames a second. It's actually recording properly. Okay, so we're only doing 30 frames a second, but that's all right. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. Graphics on apply. Continue. Okay. Is it gonna record? It does record at the proper frame right now. I don't know why it didn't work. Before. Maybe it was just this room. Maybe that was it. Okay, I'm gonna put both my headphone ears on now. That took way too long for me to figure out. Hopefully I cut that out. Can I actually crouch? Uh, keyboard mapping. Strafe left, strafe... Camera zoom? I have a camera in this. Oh. So it's just my guy zooming in. I don't even... I guess maybe I'm just like a floating camera thing. Is there a key? I wish this was more like animated, you know? But then again, not every game can be as animated as Outlast. I really like Outlast graphics. So do I literally have to search everything in this game? I'm kind of scared because I know it's supposed to be a horror game. Paprika. Sugar. I don't even know what that is. Seriously. <laughs> but this game looks kind of nice. And even more so that we're running at a sort of decent frame rate. It doesn't lag when I open things. Like I thought it would. I can't open these. Good. Takes so long to freaking open though, which is kind of annoying. It's going through absolutely everything. I'm gonna raid all of your stuff, man. I'm gonna get scared. I've got a feeling. Maybe since it's psychological, I'm gonna get freaked out in a special way. Okay. So what's going on here? They're just vegetables. Am I like gonna freak myself out? There's nothing here that's actually... I can't jump, of course. Jesus Christ. I mean, at least I can sprint. Well, that's nice. It's always nice to get around fast. Let's see what's in here. I like the music. I really like the music. Where are the lights in this room? Alright, what's running? Something on my left. Oh, the sink. Turn off. That's hot water, isn't it? It actually drains! Oh, what a cool effect. That tap is broken. Okay. Dun 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 dun. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. I'm just gonna turn on all of your lights. You know? Raid all your stuff. Turn off all- I Can I use the bathroom? Please. <laughs> turn on all the lights so I can actually see in this bloody place. Oh my god, that's bright. Holy crap. Um, is there a light switch for this room? Okay, there are lights here, but obviously not for over here. I like the thunder as well. That That's a nice touch. Anything in here? Am I supposed to be able to crouch or something? No, I'm pressing a lot of different buttons. Come on. Click on it. There we go. Jeez, it's so hard to open some things in this game. Where are the lights? Oh my god. Ooh, that sort of freaked me out. Oh, I can sort of see. So didn't that guy say something about an office? So it's probably not going to be here, the key. I mean, I can't see anything either. It'd be nice to actually be able to see something. So yeah, yeah, he said something about an office. Oh god, not the basement. Yeah, back to your office. Hold on, okay. I don't want to go down there. Okay, I, I prefer to go upstairs. Hold on. I mean, it sort of sounds like it, but... It sounds like we have feet, but not really, you know? Oh my god, we're lagging like... At half, just walking up some stairs. Either this game is quite demanding, or my computer sucks. Let's see what this is. I used to be able to read music, you know? I can look on the back side. Okay, hold on. 
Try and look on the back side of that other node. Run down the stairs! But I have to go down the stairs safely. That's kind of dumb. Space bar. Oh, is that it? Really? Okay, that's lame. Thought I could examine that note. I'm running upstairs. Dude, run! Well, he runs in that section, but obviously not up the stairs. Okay, let's go this way first. So what does this say? Been, hi been working all night. Don't wake me up. I'm gonna just peek in here. Dun, 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 dun. What's this? That's a nice painting. Looks like someone's seducing someone else. You know, these are gonna give me a good scare. I'm guessing this isn't survival horror, though. What's in the closet? Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Frickin' bottles. Go back from where you came from. I don't know why that scared me so much. I'm afraid to walk into this section of the room. My head is starting to hurt a little bit for some reason. Alright. There's nobody here to wake up. So what does this say? Galactic grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the galactic department store turned in into hell on earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. Aw oh, man, the exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is, it is estimated that I clicked on that. Uh, at least a dozen people have been um, uh, severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sh Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Okay. Oh. Oh, so I actually can see it. Okay, so I can't spin that one around. Can I pick up stuff more? More? Okay, this looks like um, maybe two people sleep in this room. Because these, these look like the sort of accessories that... Uh, a female would have. There's nothing on this bed. Oh. So I couldn't sleep. The legs acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Okay. I can read that, you know. Okay. Can't believe these bottles actually freaking scared me. Holy crap. I didn't think I was in for any scares today. I think normally that wouldn't have surprised me at all, too. Locked. Oh god, there's blood. I just walk away from that. I don't leave footprints like an Outlast. You think Outlast? What the hell was that? I think Outlast has set a sort of high standard of horror games for me. What the hell was that? This is really a psychological freaking horror game. Because just the name horror game is freaking me out. I'm glad that I can like... Move doors from, like, around corners. I don't even have to look at them to be able to tr move them, really. Because I can literally go from, like... Oh, my God. I can literally be... How far can I move away? Okay. So, there is a limited distance. I did think of that. But I can literally be, like, standing all the way over here and close the door, which doesn't really make any sense. I thought those lights were just turning on on their own. Yeah, turn that on, boy. Don't trust this whatsoever. There, there better not be any doors that just like close behind me. All right, don't anything fall out. That really scared me last time. <laughs> just gonna close that because it might get in the way. Any notes I can steal, I mean look at. They're definitely not steal. Hm. Lower drawer, anything in here? Nope, doesn't seem so. All right, let's go. You know, I'm still so glad that we can actually record at 60 frames a second. I thought it would be broken the whole bloody time. All right, note. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Um, tonight's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised! All right. I'm gonna get the crap scare. Oh my god, it just glitched. Probably because it was like doing some sort of thing with variables. Like set some value to stuff. Have the game change some things before I go downstairs. And why is the frame rate so bad? Jesus Christ, I'm just gonna look down. Maybe that'll increase my frame rate. Yep, looking down. Because I have to render more, it just lags like hell. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Oh yeah, you can actually look at things in drawers. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. 
Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now, and I really do. Oh, okay. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old times sake, I even deliberately gave you uh, a trivial task because I expected uh, Little Red Riding Hood to be so uh, to be something you can draw in your sleep. Uh, what I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shares together. Your old pal, Begin Brickstone, Whisper Tale Publishing House. I can't flip this either. Yeah, I got a key in my inventory. Uh, hell yeah, man. Good thing I found it. Can I move this chair? I'm gonna open those drawers. Can I walk into the fire? <laughs> <coughs> Good God. Painting. This is really layers of fear, man. I'm feeling layers of fear right now. And the frame rate... I mean, the frame rate is so crap. I mean, I'm recording at 60 frames a second. But the game isn't exactly staying at 60 frames a second. Okay, I'm gonna explore this area before I go down. Because... I don't exactly... Want to do that yet. Okay. This looks like a child's room. There's nobody here, of course. Can I turn the bloody lights on, please? You have any? Yeah, you do, but where's the light switch? Where is it? I mean, at least you got a freaking lamp in here. That's better than nothing. Seriously. Oh well, raiding in the night. Gonna steal all of your stuff, man. I already stole your key. I mean, borrowed it. I'm not gonna keep it forever. Maybe not. Yeah, I can turn this one over, of course. I really like that feature, by the way. I think that's really cool. All right. But it's sort of hard to manipulate it sometimes. So, yeah, that's pretty dank. All right. What a nice picture. I really like the way this game looks, by the way. Yeah, even though it's taking some toll on my computer. Holy crap, I need to get a better graphics card. <laughs> Seriously, okay, so this room doesn't have much of a story to tell. Let's open what's behind door number 79. Which way is this going to open? What? It's locked? Okay, let's just go downstairs then. Oh, because I can't run down freaking stairs. Maybe I can. <laughs> yeah, I go down faster, I think. Like that. I don't want to go down there, so I won't. Oh, jeez. Opens the other way. Okay. What's in here? Oh, God. Of course it closes behind me. What the hell? Hey, this is the title screen. What's going on? Maybe it wasn't blood over there. Maybe it was just, like, paint. I don't want to look at that. My god, what the hell are these paintings? Some of these look really freaking weird. Get it right this time. The heck, the textures just went all strange. Okay, hey, maybe the lag was this room loading in. So what's that swinging? And what's on this canvas? Oh. It's covered up for a reason. I'm guessing that said. It's open that time. That's weird. But I can't open it. Why do you need so many bottles, man? Have you been drinking or something? Is this guy an alcoholic? Of course these are freaking locked. It's gotta be I'd be paranoid about my stuff too. I'd have a lock on every door in the house. That's a lot of freaking paint brushes, Jesus. They look in terrible condition, too. That's not how you keep a bloody paintbrush. Seriously. I like the noises I'm making as well. That's pretty cool. It's, it's nice that the game acts that way. Oh, I can't open this stuff. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done before you go to sleep. All right. Just going to close that because I got drawers underneath that. I'm actually going to open the lower ones first. Any notes in here I can read? Oh, there's a pipe. Maybe I'll take a look, closer look at that later. 
Bum bum ba dum, and I can open this again. Just because I want it to be open. And we'll open this one too. It'd be so weird if I just came back later and the drawers were all closed. <laughs> That'd be super creepy, man. Of course, stepping in broken stuff. I didn't even have legs. Ones that are visible anyways. Good, I can open this. I had a feeling that I'd be able to. Can't even look in there anyways. Just how freaking low it is. All I do is complain. Great. There's the fabric thing that I took off. Can I break anything else? Okay. No, the house is different. The music is going nuts. The door's gonna close behind me, I've got a feeling. It's locked. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay. It's raining. Turn on the lights. Okay. And that stores. It's different. Close the door. Oh my god. Okay. Just out of reach. Oh my god. That freaked me out. Can I close these? Oh my god. <laughs> this game is good. I'm liking this. This is really good. I, I think this game was made very well. Oh my god, I'm so glad I never watched a playthrough on this. I don't think a playthrough is required, actually. Yeah, Wander, Achievement Get. Very nice. My god. So, okay. Reconnect with your partner. Rebuild your relationship. Re rediscover the joy of your marriage. Rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle, struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It takes some work, and we're here to help. It just takes some work and we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Uh, whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Yep. That was a kind of nice advertisement. <laughs> too bad I couldn't flip it over. Any other notes to read? Okay, so I think we're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got really, I got really freaked out anyways. I don't know if you guys did. I have no idea why the bottle scared me so much. And I actually, I've been playing this game for like, what, maybe 30 minutes? Maybe actually, maybe around 25 minutes because I spent at least 5 minutes messing with the settings. Um, but yeah, we're going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to do some more exploring in Layers of Fear next episode. Uh, I guess this is a horror game series that I intend to play on for a little while. This should be exciting. I'm really looking forward to playing more. I can't wait till the next episode. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.